researchers at the Wu Tsai Neurosciences Institute at Stanford University point out that the octopus brain evolved from something like a slug in the oceans hundreds of millions of years ago, yet now supports sophisticated behaviors. What behaviors do octopuses show that make us call them intelligent? Let's survey several lines of evidence. Problem solving and tool use. In labs, they are legendary escape artists and have learned to open jars and solve complex latched boxes to get food. But their intelligence truly shines in the wild. The veined octopus has been observed carrying coconut shells, assembling them later into a portable fortress. This isn't just using an object, it's selecting and transporting a tool for a future purpose, a clear sign of planning. They can even recognize individual humans, squirting water at those they perceive as a nuisance. Camouflage, sensory and motor sophistication. The octopus's most famous ability is its invisibility cloak a dynamic camouflage system that is unparalleled in the animal kingdom. Millions of tiny pigment-filled sacs called chromatophores act like pixels on a biological TV screen, allowing for instantaneous changes in color and pattern. Below them, other cells reflect and scatter light, while muscular papillae change the skin's physical texture to perfectly match a jagged rock or smooth sand. But here lies a profound mystery. All available evidence suggests that octopuses are colorblind. They see the world in shades of gray. So how can they replicate colors they cannot see? The answer remains one of the greatest puzzles in biology. A new theory, the camo-cognitive hypothesis, suggests this display is more than just a disguise. It might be a direct window into the octopus's mind, a real-time, externalized picture of what it's seeing, thinking, and feeling. The octopus may literally be wearing its thoughts on its skin learning and memory. Experiments indicate octopuses are capable of both short-term and long-term memory. They can discriminate visual cues, choose optimal routes to rewards, and adapt behavior based on experience. For example, some reef-dwelling octopus species have larger brains compared to deep-sea species linked to their need for more complex visual processing and interaction in a busy reef environment. Behavioral flexibility and play. Beyond simply solving a specific puzzle, octopuses display curious behaviors, manipulating objects, exploring novel environments, sometimes interacting with human caretakers in captivity in ways suggesting recognition. And these solitary geniuses even seem to play. In labs, octopuses have been observed interacting with objects like Lego blocks and floating bottles in ways that meet the scientific definition of play, behavior done just for its own sake. For decades, scientists believed that high intelligence evolved to deal with the complexities of social life. This holds true for primates, dolphins and elephants. But the octopus breaks this rule completely. Most species are solitary, living their short one to two year lives almost entirely alone. The mother dies around the time her eggs hatch so there is no one to teach the young. Every octopus is a lone genius, figuring out the world from scratch. 
So how did they get so smart? The ecological intelligence hypothesis suggests their minds were forged by the complex challenges of survival. As a soft-bodied predator with no armor, every day is a high-stakes battle of wits. They must invent unique strategies for every type of prey and every kind of predator. This gives us a completely different model for intelligence. While primates evolved big brains to navigate complex social lives with knowledge passed down through generations, the octopus evolved its mind in isolation, driven by the complex challenges of its environment. It's a mind built for ecological problem-solving, not social politics.